So here we are at the start of my rapamycin journey. I'm about to get baseline blood work requested to make sure that my white blood cell count doesn't go down too much and I don't have maybe some unwanted hyperglycemia. Uh, so this is the beginning. I didn't want to start taking it without having a baseline too because like how are we going to measure progress? How are we going to determine if something's going a little weird, you know, other than the whole mouth sore thing. But day one, figuring out my baseline before starting to take rapamycin at the doctor's office. I am about to take my first four milligram weekly dose of rapamycin. It's 10.23 a.m. I'm nervous as hell. I won't be taking the quercetin I usually take with it because it might interfere with its absorption. I don't know. I just hope I won't have an allergic reaction or feel weird. So this is what it looks like, triangle pills, two milligrams each. The longevity doc said maybe I should do six milligrams, but I am cautious as hell. So I'd rather err on the side of maybe just trying a little less and seeing what happens. I mean, at my age, probably I won't notice much at all. So um, let's take this. Can't go back. Now we wait. Let's see what happens. I hope it doesn't make me feel weird. I'm also timing it um, towards the beginning of my menstrual cycle because it can it, it affects female fertility and ovarian function. So I didn't want to take it mid-cycle and throw anything off. So I'm bleeding right now. I'm like my third day of bleeding. So And I always felt like Sunday was my rapamycin day. So now I just don't take this for a week. Go about my life as usual and see what happens. Okay, so an hour in, I, I just put on some makeup and I noticed that my body temperature feels a heck of a lot lower or at least a degree lower than before I took it but I'll have to measure next week instead of just being like I feel kind of cooler and I did measure my heart rate but I didn't do it before and after but my heart rate was very low uh, about an hour after taking it 47 beats per minute I do tend on the lower heart rate side especially when laying down but like I just feel like slowed calmer but like good like I feel good and I am I didn't eat a lot today I don't know so far so good I don't think I'm allergic to it I think if I was acutely allergic to it I would have had symptoms by now and I don't have any so I'm gonna go to the mall do some shopping uh and um keep on rocking on with the anti-aging goal <laughs> Okay, it's now Wednesday at around 10.30 a.m. I took my dose of rapamycin on Sunday at around 10.20-ish a.m. And I am reporting that I feel just like myself, completely the same, very even. My primary concern was that I would feel weird or like abnormal psychologically or, or cognitively or intellectually, but I feel unremarkable. If anything, I just feel very neutral. Um, I have a bit of a cold, but no big deal. The tummy trouble that I had Sunday night because I got a bit of diarrhea has abated. And uh, it's just, I just feel the same. So, so far, good news. So don't forget to like this, subscribe and follow for my rapamycin journey. And uh, we'll see how it transforms me or not. Maybe I'll just stay the same. But I'd like to get rid of these, these little guys. One little note or update, I got some mild facial involuntary movements or dyskinesia on Tuesday afternoon. It was very limited in duration. However, I found this that rapamycin might affect dopamine production in the brain and it appears as if it may lower it through the inhibition of mTOR. So I'm just going to watch and see what happens. haven't had any movements today that are involuntary, but it's worth noting that uh, rapamycin might affect dopamine levels. Don't know. Okay, bye.